Now I'm going to say how to prepare for geology. So today's topic already known by you to score 85 percent mark in the NEET with the uh, help of PYQs and papers and all. So now just see what is the importance of the previous year's question. I will I will take a smaller time. So what is the importance? Like uh, if I will share the 2024 paper. First of all, it is providing us what is the weightage of any chapter. Like we are working a lot. Like if we people are working a lot in human physiology, you will get surprised. What is the weightage of human physiology? There are six chapters in human physiology and they are asking 12 questions. Whereas one question, one, one chapter of uh, uh, that uh, human health and disease, it is, it is providing us 20 marks. So by reading only one chapter, you will get the 20 marks, five questions. And by reading the six, uh, six chapter, you are going to get 48 marks. So first of all, the huge profit related with the PYQs that you are able to analyze the importance of topics. Importance of topics. It means this topic is more important. This topic is less important here. So like I, I will say, if you will see me to select a most important topic in geology, I will say first prepare the human health and disease because the weightage is five questions. Then I will say you may prepare for, you may prepare for Human reproduction, reproductive health, weightage is 4 to 6 question. Are you getting? So, PYQs are helpful us to decide which topic is more important in the previous year trends. So, this is the first point I want to share that is. Now, with the help of PYQs, you are able to identify the pattern of questions. What type of questions are coming in the exam? It's very important to know. So, when I am analyzing the papers of different years in geology, I identified nine patterns. They are asking question based on the nine patterns. It is very important to know what are the nine patterns. The first type of pattern they are asking match the column type of question. Match the column type of question, their weightage is maximum 20 questions because we are reading a lot, but a smart reading will give you the more uh, option, okay, more marks. So, PYQs, they are helpful to identify what are the pattern of questions. So, I said now I identified nine different patterns of question in geology. So, first type of pattern that is the match the column type of questions are there. In geology, maximum they are asking match the column type of question. They are looking lengthier, but they are they will give you the 100% marks because they are easy. So, first type of question that is match the column, like I have taken one example of match the column type of question. I have taken it from animal kingdom. They, they will give you the name of the animal and they will ask their common name. So, PYQs, what is the profit of PYQs? You, you, you can identify variety. First type of question that you have to solve maximum, that is the match the column type of question. Second type of question, I uh, said that you have to solve two statement question. Two statement question means they will give you the question, one is correct, one is incorrect. Okay, their weightage is approximately six question. Second type like uh, for every question I have taken one example but I am not going to discuss in detail because already I said in the previous uh, uh, discussion. Second type, third one that is the single statement. Single statement are they are the direct question directly based on the lines of NCRT. Their weightage is also good that is the nine questions they ask like I will give you the one example like they ask in cockroach which is present which, which segment is having the anal surcide. Okay, so it is the 10th segment. So it will give you the variety like what type of questions they are asking like correct sequence. This is another all the varieties are there current sequence like in this question if you will see this question they are asking how the conduction of impulse takes place. So known by us conduction of impulse starts from sinoatrial node. It is reaching to the AB node. It is reaching to the AB bundle. It will go to the Purkinje fibers and all. Getting so these are known as the sequential types of question. Okay, this is again you have to prepare. Don't forget to solve them. Now, exercise and region type of question. In geology, students are worrying a lot about exercise and region type of question, but see their weightage. Unnecessarily burden we are putting on us. Unnecessarily burden. If you will see in 2024, 23, 22, 21 any exam their weightage is not more than two to three questions daily students are solving they are putting a lot of efforts for solving a surgeon region weightage is two in place of these two question if you will put your efforts in this uh, 
मैच द कॉलम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सी द बेटेस्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन आर मैच द कॉलम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू डिसाइड ना योर वर्क शुड बी गो इन द राइट डायरेक्शन If you will wasting more time in solving the assertion region type of question, what you will get two questions. But you will focus on solving this uh, match the column type of question. The weightage is used two question, twenty question. If you will say that ten times more weightage of these uh, questions are there, I have taken this. Uh, I prepared it myself because I was also interested to say what type of preparation we have to do. So a smart study said that assertion region, although we have to solve, we have to prepare, but we have to give the more weightage to other now next type of question that is the multiple statement type of question this is the new pattern in neat exam it started from 2024 they started to ask the multiple type of question also and their weightage is also good multiple type of question means they will give you multiple uh, statement and they will ask in the given statement how many correct and how many incorrect so this is the one that is the multiple choice question another Like found and found, how many are related with the thing? They will give you one incident, and they will ask in the given statement how many are related with the, that incident. So I will say, like they said, what are the autoimmune disorder? So there is a term in zoology that is known as the autoimmune di uh, disorder. So how many are autoimmune disorder? You have to learn. Then only you are able to give the answer. And next pattern is the chart. Okay, flow chart. Flow chart question. In this flow chart question, they will they will give you the A B C D options and you have to fill the options. Okay, it is possible only when the sequence is known by you. Okay, so what I want to say, what I want to say, and the last variety of question that is the diagram based question. So, if you will ask me where I have to put more efforts, I will say try to solve lengthy and lengthier question. Don't see the length of the question. One one who is looking more lengthier, try to solve that question first. Because in that question you will get answer in less time. The students are leaving lengthier question because they are thinking it is lengthier, bigger in size. No no no. Nowadays in NEET exam they are asking lengthier question, but their solution and answer are very easy. So NEET pattern is slightly following NCERT verbatim. So I said these are the few. Now again I will say what is the importance to solve the PYQs. with the help of pyqs we are able to identify the important topics important sub topics important statement like if i will say about human health and disease there is one statement coming every year colostrum if you are a student of zoology you know about the colostrum every year one statement is coming one question is coming if i will say human health and disease every year when match the column question is coming viral diseases bacterial diseases protozoal diseases fungal diseases element diseases so on the basis of pyqs you have to make your preparation you have to do your preparation on the basic of pyq i said you have to focus on match the column question double two statement type of question multiple statement type of question sequential question so i think that what the analysis i did they will share you the ppt with you also so you will get all the information how to how to identify the variety of question how to solve the question and if there is any query you are free to send your message okay thank you very much